Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome, I'm Stefania. Today I'm gonna update my reading journal. This time I'm gonna work on the yearly pages and I'm gonna update it with all the books that I've read in August. To do it, I'm gonna use my reading journal, the one with my monthly spreads, so I can look at it and it's gonna be so much easier and faster. And I'm gonna work on my previously reading journal, the one that I've used the since the beginning of the year until last month, where I still have my yearly pages. The first thing that I'm gonna do is color the books that I've read in my bookshelves page. And to do it, I'm gonna take out my color code, so I'm gonna know exactly which color I'm gonna need for each single book. And then I'm just gonna color them in a random way, it's not like uh, I've decided to put them uh, with a meaning. I'll just pick up a book and color it. The only thing that I pay attention to is the size of the book, because uh, I need to write the title in there, and so if I have a long title, I'm not gonna pick up a small book, but I'm gonna go and color a big one. Then I'm gonna work on my book log, I'm gonna write uh, the number of the book, the first book of the year was number one and so goes on. So with August uh, I started with book number 36, then I'll write the title of the book and the author, then I'm gonna write the date in which I've started and then the one in which I've finished the book, how many stars I gave to the book and then I'm just gonna check whether it was uh, an ebook or a physical book. I do the same thing for all the books that I've read. Weird enough, in August all I've read was physical books. Actually, I think I've been doing this for more than just a month because the same thing happened in July and this is because I have a TBR and uh, I never have one, but this year I've started having one because of some discount and uh, I bought several books sold together and now I just can't have there a big physical TBR looking at me and this is why August was another month full of physical books and not ebooks. Then it's time to work on my reading tracker. Here again I use my color code because I don't remember exactly which color is each single one because they are so similar one to another and I'm pretty sure I would do a mistake or two if I wouldn't check out my color code so I'll just go and look at it and I always do it in this way I take the first uh, color which is for all the days in which I've read between 1 to 29 pages and uh, I look through the whole month uh, using my reading tracker from my monthly pages and I color all these days then I change with the next color so from 30 to 49 pages and I do the same thing and so goes on until I've colored everything and uh, Once I'm done with it. I'm just gonna take uh, a black pen and uh, I'm gonna write the number of pages that I read each single day and uh, At the bottom of the page. I have space to write uh, how many days I've read and in August was again 31 days and then I'll write the number of pages that I read in the month and I will say that August was a pretty good month then it's time for my books of 2023 and what I do here is quite easy. I'll just take uh, the covers of all the books and uh, I'm gonna put them here. Since uh, I'm a lazy person, I always print them on sticker paper so it's definitely faster. And then 
I've created some stickers with five stars and I'm gonna put them underneath the, the books and I'm just gonna color the number of stars that I get to each single book. Here you're gonna see me leaving a, a little space empty and this is because I'm pretty sure that I've printed that cover but I can't find it anymore so or I'm not right and so I haven't printed it or I've lost it, these are the two options. So I'll just write the number of stars and once I have printed it out I'm just gonna have it here. Then it's time for my pick one, here usually I take the cover of the book that I've decided to pick for the month, so my favorite book of the month, but in this case I'm not gonna put it here because I've only printed one of this uh, little cover and actually I'm gonna need it also for another spread so in this case I'm gonna leave that space empty and once I'm gonna print again that cover I'm gonna attach it here now I'm gonna color the number of stars that I gave to the book and I'm gonna write the title here in the right page and by the end of the year I'm gonna work on this battle because uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be quite funny to do and uh, also my pick one page is done I'm so happy because I can show you what I'm gonna update my favorite books and not because it's anything complicated I just take the cover which is already in a sticker paper so I'll just put it there and that's it but I'm so happy because I'm very picky when it comes to five stars and this month I've read a book and I give it five stars monthly reads this page doesn't uh, require me to explain anything but anyway I'm gonna tell you what I do and is picking up my brown pen because this year and last year I've been obsessed with this color and uh, I've decided to use it for my reading journal and with that wonderful pen I'm just gonna go underneath August and write all the titles of the books that I've read in August. Series tracker and here we go again with me being happy because I have to update this page as well because in August I've started and finished the Stalking Jack the Ripper and uh, I had to update this page. While I was writing the title, however, I don't know why, I was writing uh, Jack and I was listening to something else and uh, the result was a little mistake which uh, I tried to fix by just uh, rewriting the right letters and that's it. I'm not happy with it, but I'll keep it in this way because I don't know how to fix it without doing a bigger mess. And uh, the other series, uh, I haven't finished them because uh, I'm still waiting for the books to come out. Bingo! I can only color one thing here. And uh, after August, uh, I'm still missing 50 books. A book which is viral on social media basically, 60 books which is my goal for the year and uh, to complete a whole reading challenge. So yes, basically I think that the last two will not be colored before the end of the year. Then there is my rainbow challenge that, as I said before, I'm gonna just look at it and then I'm gonna update it at the end of the year because I forgot about it. Then there is Una Nui Rosa challenge and here is what you're gonna notice. What a weird thing. Why you're having a book that we haven't seen until this moment? And this is because I've started this book in August for this challenge and I finished it on the 1st of September. Like. I think it wasn't even 8 a.m. in the morning when I, I was done with it. But anyway, it was for August, September. So you're not gonna see me updating my written journal with it in August, if not for this page, because uh, I've decided to put it in September. But it was for my August prompt.
Oh, here we go with the spread that I absolutely love but hate. This challenge is getting harder and harder each single day. And here you're gonna see me. And all I'm gonna be able to add is uh, one title of a book. And that's it. Because all the other books and authors, there's no space for them. And I still have all the same letters empty. I don't think I'm gonna finish this one. Then I just check my other challenges uh, and uh, I'm gonna notice I can add one book in one of the two, but the other one, honestly, I have to stop uh, and take my time and just be sure that I've actually updated whenever I have to because uh, I'm pretty sure I forgot something here and there. And that's it. I don't waste too much time on these challenges because uh, I know that by the end of the year I'm just gonna take my time to check them out in the right way. Then we have the generous page and that is gonna be pretty fast to update. I'm just gonna take my color, which is an Eklan brush pen, which I'm obsessed with for both because I love their brush pens first and second, this color, I'm obsessed with it. I love it, it's so perfect. So I just color the generous and I'm just gonna color whether the books were adult or young adult and then I'm done with it. And then it's finally time to update my last spread, the reading stats. And I'll just write how many books I've read, how many of them were books and how many physical books, how many pages I've read, for how many days I've read in the month, how many books were in English and how many in Italian. And then I'll just go and check out how many stars I gave to each single book and I'm gonna just put them here. And that's it. And just like that, I'm done. And my yearly pages have been updated with my books of August. Quite a full of them, because I'll have to print a few covers. So this is what I do every single month to update my yearly pages. Let me know with a comment if you have any questions. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumb up and remember to subscribe for more videos like this one. As always, thank you so much for your support. See you next time. Bye!